everybody, how's it going? Tonight we're going to do another Fusion Quick Tip on the hole feature. It's just another one of those super handy features that saves clicks, saves time, uh, especially if you've got to model multiple holes across the part and they all have similar features or a set of holes um, that have certain features and another set of holes that have different features. But anyway, it's super simple and, and um, saves some clicks for sure. It resides up here uh, in the Create menu and then it's right next to the Revolve and Extrude features and it's inside the design space. So we're gonna talk about two scenarios tonight. One is just modeling a simple, a simple single hole. The other one modeling multiple holes across the part. Uh, and we'll just kind of get into like how easy it is to do and. Um, it, again, it's a big old time saver. So do me a favor, like and subscribe. Uh, you'll be notified, hopefully, if you hit the bell that uh, new videos have popped up. Really appreciate it. Um, so here we go. Uh, to use the feature, we're going to go ahead and click the icon. And since we're doing a single hole, we're going to select which face we want to put the hole on. Uh, for this one, for this particular scenario, I'm just going to click the top face here. Um, let's change a couple things around. Here we go. And so first thing um, you should probably do is, is think about position. Where do you want the position to be? So you can move this thing around just by clicking and dragging. If you want something dead center of your part, then you'll notice that little uh, sketch point pop up and it is dead center in the middle of that face. So if you just get near it, it'll snap to it. So now you have a hole directly in the center. That's great. Uh, however, if you need something that's more uh, offset from center and you need to reference it off the edges, no problem. You can actually just hover over click to add a reference and now you can say well I want this 2.5 inches from that edge uh, and if you need to reference it from this edge do the same thing you say I want that one and a quarter from that edge so now you have this thing in the proper position now it's time to identify the features of the hole that you want to model in so here you've got different types of um, uh, hole types you've got simple you've got counterbore you've got counter sunk um, and you've got your tap type. So you've got a straight through, you've got a clearance hole, you've got a th uh, tapped and um, taper tapped. And then for the bottom, do you want a flat bottom or do you want an angled bottom? Uh, for this particular scenario, we're just gonna go ahead and do a counter bore hole. Um, we're gonna leave it straight through and we're gonna do a nice simple flat bottom. Next step is to essentially identify which features or which dimensions of that feature now that you want to identify. First one here is the depth. I'm gonna go ahead and make this an inch and a half deep. I'm going to say that this is um, the diameter of the counter bore. The top of the counter bore section here is going to be uh, three quarters good and 125 thou deep is that counter bore and then the diameter across the bottom of the hole I'm going to say that's a half inch. Uh, and done. So there it is. That one's pretty easy. That one in and of itself probably isn't a colossal time savings over like the old method of just like, you know, sketching a circle, extruding a hole, doing a slightly bigger circle, you know, and counter boring that. Um, where you can save some time uh, is definitely in the, the, the laying out multiple holes across a part. And so to do that, why don't we go ahead and delete this. So the second scenario here is we're going to go ahead and place a sketch on this surface. And when I'm going to lay out a, a hole pattern on a part, um, I like to probably use uh, the point feature in here in the sketch. I'm going to go ahead and just drop a point here, and then I'm going to go here and do a rectangle pattern. I'll select that point, and then I'll just start dragging and all that good stuff. So now I've got nine points across the part. Uh, they're all going to be evenly spaced. They're, uh, and essentially these are all going to be the same type of hole. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that sketch, go to home hit the hole tool again. And now instead of selecting the single point where you can now select a face, I'm gonna select the multi-point. And you can see, I, I don't have an option to select a face. You must select something off of a sketch point, right? So as you hover over, now you can see you've got the option to start uh, pointing and clicking here. So I'm gonna place one there, there, there. And we're just gonna run them all the way through the part. And the, the features at this point don't really matter because any changes you make, so if we want to change this from counter board to counter sink, right, that's the click of a button. If you want to change them all from straight through to tapped, click of a button. Um, this is the point too where let's say you're going to export this in 3D print it, where you'd want to make sure this model checkbox is checked. If you don't have that checked, the, the threads are represented but they're not modeled, and so when you export this model out to an OBJ or an STL, the threads won't be there if you go to 3D print it. You need to make sure that that's checked uh, so that they roll out in your STL. 
but that's that. Um, you can go through and identify what thread type you want, what designation, what class, all that good stuff. You can change all of these dimensions uh, of those holes and it'll apply across the entire set of holes that you've just placed down. Click OK and uh, so that's pretty simple. So modeling up those nine different features across the part just with a few clicks. Um, super powerful, uh, really helpful. Again, you can go through um, and do uh, another hole. And let's say you wanted to throw something on this face. And then if you wanted to run this all the way through and just a straight through, not even thread it and hit OK, now you're good to go. Um, so there you go. That's the whole feature. Not much to it. Pretty simple. So uh, if you haven't ever used it before, congratulations. Uh, you're going to get some time savings. So um, that's it. See you all soon. Thanks.